welcome back again to Dave's Dimension. Welcome back again for another video. Welcome back to the channel where chaos and insanity will always reign supreme. So we're back again for another, another unbox. This time around, we're jumping into the Funko world. Uh, those who've been following the channel, you know, I, I'm a very extremely, extremely casual Funko collector. Um, not really, I'm not really a big... I mean, I like to, I don't go for full lines of, of Funko, Funko Pops. Those that know what Funko Pops are, uh, I do have the Ghostbuster Funkos. Winston from the first film, one of my favorites. Um, now I do have some assorted Funkos, uh, Transformers, Optimus Prime I have. Um, I have a few, not too many Star Wars, but I have a Ready Player One, Parzival, Artemis, I got a few choice ones. I usually go for more nostalgia. If you look right behind me at the Power Rangers, I actually have a mega version, a humongous Funko of the Dragon Zord right there. And of course, I got some other Funkos. We got Green Ranger, Tommy, and of course, Lord Dragon right there. So I go for more nostalgia, you know, something I think is really cool and I want and I have to grab it. I do, you know, that's how I collect. But, um, Recently, well, actually today I was at Walmart and I saw something. Something I know people have been searching for. And I had to get it for myself as well. What are we talking about? Well, got any fans of the Loki TV series here? Do we? Okay. Well, I got my hands on Sylvie. Believe it or not, at my Walmart, they had about eight of these. For eight ninety eight, it was kind of a no-brainer. This is the only one from the series that they had, so I had to grab her. And this is a glow-in-the-dark Sylvie. Glow-in-the-dark, only at Walmart. There you go. And we got, of course, all we got Loki, we got Mobius, Sylvie, regular Sylvie, that is. President Loki. And Ravona Rensler. And Miss Minutes, and of course, Kid Loki. At least part of that series, that collection we have right there. I didn't see any of those, just this. So I grabbed her. I grabbed this one, and I did actually grab a second one. Uh, this one is not for me, though. This one is for a friend of the community. I'm not going to drop any names, but you'll find out eventually who it's for. Uh, I checked the box. This is probably the best box that they possibly had because I know this person is a big Funko collector. So this one's being set set aside for that person. But let's get right on into this, guys. What do you say? What do you say? Let's get right on into this. Yes, you guys know I'm an out-of-box collector. So let's unbox it for those who like to keep them in the box so you can keep yours without having to open them up. I'm going to show you guys what this one's all about. Okay, so let's get this unboxed. No tape, no tabs on here. A little unsettling because you don't know if anyone's played around with this before. Just going to slide that right out. No extras, nothing fancy. And if you want, you could always put it back in the box. Now she is a bobblehead. And it's nice that they gave us the little stand in here too. Slides right out. I'll set that off to the side. Now, she's very bobbly. She has her little broken horn right there. I love the shading that they did on the top of her head here for the different hair coloring. You know, like her roots are showing, so to speak. I love this green blade and I love the green eyes. Uh, we'll, we'll have to test this out to see how well does she actually glow in the dark. Now, of course, she has a peg on the one foot, so obviously that is where this stand is going to go on to. So let's do that. How awesome is this? And we're going to see, let me see, let me see if we can get a nice good uh, close-up right there. I mean, the detail on here, I think they did a tremendous job on her. You can see all the details of her outfit, her clothing right there. The cloak, the oversized cloak that she's wearing. Of course, you get your basic spring mechanism on the inside here. Um, I have had issues with some bobbleheads in, in the past, but Funko does a ton of bobbleheads. Um, I'm not a big fan of the bobblehead thing. Uh, my wife hates them, but some, some Funkos, you just don't have any choice. That's all that they really have. 
but I thought I think they did a really good job on here I love the green blade and we're actually gonna turn all the lights off and see how well she actually glows we'll see how well because I'm still gonna have illumination coming off the screens here so let's see pause you okay so I turned the lights off and she's not really glowing I mean I could see some glow here but because of the lights and I have a lighted keyboard, obviously, I'm still getting illumination off of here. I'm going to see if there's another way I can turn this off. Yeah, I am not going to be able to. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, but I mean, if you have her one, also, I just got her out of the box. So we probably have to get her to soak up some of the light first. Uh, so unfortunately it's not giving us a proper effect here. And I do apologize for that guys. Um, when I hold it like this, I can definitely see her blade glowing a little bit. I think we really need her to be exposed to more light directly to properly give get a good glow in the dark effect so i do apologize for that i mean as you can see she's not really glowing here her eyes look kind of dark even the blade is not showing up that much until we bring her up close it's supposed to be glow in the dark but like you said with a lot of glow in the dark items we have to do a few other things first we have to basically we gotta get all the other lights soaked up first put some lights back on there you go got our lights back on um but this is a great funko i mean i thought they did a tremendous detail on here the coloring the bit of the airbrushing that they did with the shading here for the hair looks tremendous the sculpt looks fantastic this is definitely awesome i can't wait to see if we can get our hands on some of the other other collectibles we have right there the rest of the funko line this is by the way this is number eight nine seven so for now we're going to put her back in the box because I don't know where quite she's going to be displayed at yet. Get that pop back in. Especially if you're someone who wants to maybe take, just pop her out of the box once to take a look and then put her back in. There we go. There we go. So like I said, I found this in the collectible section of my local Walmart guys so if you're looking for this one that's where you want to go is go into the electronics slash collectible section of your Walmart keep looking now usually I don't receive any of the stuff that most of the, the youtubers get who stumble across them out there uh, but this time around somehow I got I saw Sylvia I've been looking for because I know one or two people who've been looking for this item and that's why I grabbed the second one so I could send it off to the YouTuber I'm not going to mention right now. You'll find out eventually. Got to have air mystery sometimes, right? So, awesome Funko. And I got this for $8.98. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, sometimes you go to all the places. I'm not going to mention any names. GameStop. Uh, you know, and they charge an arm and a leg for a Funko. Or they, once in a while, they'll do a deal where you can get, you know, buy two, get one, such and such. But, you know, I had to hop on this one. I saw it. I was like, the green eyes just awesome i had to go for it so very quick unbox hope you guys like this video now as always guys if you like this video i want you to do me a favor go into the videos in the description below and take a look at our youtube warriors those are other youtubers fellow youtubers people like you and me who make some amazing content that you don't want to miss out on the links to their uh, channels are in the video description below and as always guys i want to thank you guys for checking out dave's dimension until next time guys you guys know what i'm gonna say Keep on busting, and I will always catch you on the flip side. Take care.